Y vas en español. Good morning and welcome back to Mexico City. So in this video, what we're going to show you is what to eat, see, and do. But it's going to be a little bit different this time because we're not only going to show you Mexican food, we're also going to show you some food from around the world. Let's go. Okay, so what we have here is the torta de chilaquiles. So what she had was a pot with chilaquiles sauce and then she put it inside with then chicken, sour cream, um, cheese and then some onion. As you can see, we've already taken a bite and <laughs> I can tell you right now, it is very, very good. Okay, so we actually didn't mention why we're here in Mexico City and that's because David had a visa appointment to get his USA visa replaced. So we were luckily enough to come back again because we absolutely love this city. Um, and then also, we want to maybe try and move here for like a month and so it's kind of like a test run because we have our puppies with us and we want to just see if we like it and if we do, then you'll be seeing us here for one month. Making moves, trying to get away from this life I'm living. Same old things every day. Wanna change this feeling. Okay, so we are here at this place called Masala y Mais. It's called that because Masala is from India, y Mais is from Mexico. So it's a kind of like a mix between Indian and Mexican. The waiter just explained everything to us. He said, recently the owners just went to Kenya, right? Yeah. And so they also, right now, is a mixture of Kenyan food here too. We've ordered four dishes and we're so, so excited to try it because honestly, it all sounds so, so good. We have, we're probably gonna have to come back to try the entire menu. Also, we have some natural wine, which we're really, really getting we into at the big, moment. big list of natural wine. <laughs> Okay, sí, los vintage eh, de las etiquetas, porque antes sabía como mucho como a fermento, como a levadura, y este año es más como una soda de, de fresa. Ok, so what we have here is four samosas, two are stuffed with lamb, two are stuffed with potato, and we've got two different sauces as well. Let's see what this one is stuffed with. Could either be lamb or potato. <laughs> Mmm, lamb, <laughs> jackpot. <laughs> How is it? Really, really good. Yes, like barbacoa. This lamb one is like barbacoa inside of a samosa, and I just am in love. Mm. Oh my god. What we have here are two giant shrimps, I think, and they have been marinating in ghee which is um, clarified, butter. clarified butter for 24 hours and spices. They recommend we eat with our hands, so they provide these flannels and then some garlic butter chili oil and I think I'm in heaven. <laughs> Let's go. You ready to get dirty? I'm so ready. Look at the size of that shit. I mean, that this is freaking <laughs> huge. Look at that. Oh, Hello, yeah. my new best friend. It's gonna be creepy, right? <laughs> All right. Don't film me eating it. It's gonna be messy. Okay. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Wow, guys. If there's one thing that you're just gonna try here in Mexico City, it's this. I can't even. It's like butter, but like butter, butter, butter. Like. Butter on steroids <laughs> and chili. <laughs> I'm like so happy right now. This is perfection. Oh my god. I'm not joking, though, David. You gotta try them. Papadam. Papadam. From India, <laughs> I'm guessing? Yeah, I think so. And we're gonna try the crudo, which I don't even remember what it is. Leche de tigre. Coconut leche de tigre. Oh my god. You can tell it's amazing, right? Fuck the coloring. Okay, so 
last but not least, we have the chicken. This one here has been the most popular and is by far the best. Basically what they do is they flash fry it. So the skin is supposed to be really, really crispy and then inside really, really juicy. But I don't know if you can see, it's dripping because of how juicy it is. It's like Indian fried chicken. Okay, so we just caught an Uber back. We're gonna show you really quickly a little apartment tour. Actually, where we're staying right now is the same place, but a different apartment. And then we'll introduce you to our little puppies. They are the cutest. Well, hello and welcome to Orozco. Okay, so we are about to call an Uber. Um, we're gonna meet up with some friends that own a restaurant called Nogal Nogal and we're gonna have dinner with them at Makan. They're gonna collaborate with Makan really, really soon and we'll tell you more about it when we get there. Okay, so we're here at Makan and we're lucky enough because the place that is pretty much in the same building, it's called Meow, they decided that Tonight, they're also gonna let us here at Makan order their menu as well. So what we have, we've done that exact thing. <laughs> and then we've also just seen our friends here order the chicken rice and we're super jealous. We're gonna have to steal a really bite yum. because it looks really, really good. It's like rice in here first. It's like bed of rice, oh, just yeah. chicken, I like that sesame portion. pickles. <laughs> Obviously the portion is like important. And then the sauce. Right. And then like, eat it. The oyster technique. Maybe I'm a fighter, never backing down. Maybe I'm a soldier, standing my ground. If you're gonna fight me for my heart, are you gonna get these battle scars? Maybe I'm a tiger, 27. Maybe I'm a bike, go bike. Everything so far has been absolutely amazing. Here I have the Wagyu fried rice. Wagyu on top of like a seasoned rice with a really beautiful cucumber salad that accompanies it perfectly. What I'm most excited about is this laksa. Oh my god. Yeah, that's perfect. Lots of so it's going to be kind of rough, are you, huh, chef? <laughs> Oh <laughs> okay, so we are here at Durango. This is a place that is extremely special because it's David's big brother Mises place. What they serve is corn based products. I don't know if you can see this big corn here that I'm holding, but that's what it is. <laughs> Extremely proud of David's brother. <laughs> no, but what I mean is that we're, we're 
a little bit drunk. So perhaps we'll end this night now and then we'll just like move to tomorrow and you'll see how we feel. <laughs> Good morning guys. So we are taking the puppies for a walk and we're gonna try to find a bakery because I really, really feel like a pastry. <laughs> Okay, so we found the perfect cafe called Cayetana. They have really good looking pastries and then obviously coffee is very, very much needed. Last night was super fun. We nearly went to this place called Hanky Panky that was recommended by um, one of you guys. Um, but then we were just kind of too tired, so definitely next time. So the plan for the day is that we're going to Coyoacan and I'm gonna be interviewed by this YouTube channel which is about foreigners living here in Mexico. Then we're gonna go to the Frida Kahlo house, so stay tuned. Okay, so we are here in Coyoacan. We are just about to meet um, for the interview. I'm a little bit nervous, so what we're gonna do is find a place to have a quick beer, some liquid courage. So Coyoacan is so, so beautiful. It's just like a little town. In fact, it used to be its own little town before Mexico City grew and swallowed it up. But it is so gorgeous. Panela cheese wrapped in this banana leaf. It's like kind of like a tamal. Wow. And over there you have a delicious side of black beans, avocado, uh, nopal salad, some tomatoes, and of course some tortillas to make a delicious taco. There's so much garlic, and I absolutely love garlic. This is perfect. Okay, so I just finished the interview with Extranjeros por el Mundo. I'll leave the link in the description. Um, I was so nervous and because the whole interview was actually in Spanish. And so if you want to watch me fumble my way through an interview in Spanish, go and watch that. And then if you are really, really good with Spanish and you want to know a little bit more about me, you should definitely go and watch that video too. So right now, we are heading to the Frida Kahlo house. I've been before, but David hasn't, so he's very excited to go.
best evening can be gone. So we just got out of the Frida Kahlo Museum and it was so, so beautiful. The colors are just so crazy. Like the reds and the, it's, it's like a maroon, a blue and a green, right? Beautiful. Oh, and it's just like with the garden and the plants and the reflections, it is so spectacular. So if you know anything about Frida Kahlo, she was a painter. Um, and when she was 18, she was in a car accident and a pole went right through like her stomach. So she was like in hospital and she had to wear these um, full body casts. And so we'll show you some images. I'm sure we'll be putting some images over this footage, but oh, it was just like, so like her life was so hard, but she just made it so beautiful by painting. So she painted on her, her um, cast and she had this bed with this mirror above it. So she could also paint herself. Highly recommend going if you're in Mexico City. Um, though a little tip, you have to book online now. At the moment with COVID, there's no way you can just show up and get a ticket. You have to book your reservation and they give you half an hour to go through the whole museum. But it is super, super worth it. Highly, highly recommend it. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. It has been such a fun two days. Please subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Give us a like and comment down below to say hey. Bye.